Hi and welcome to another video. Now this video would be interest for anyone uh, who's um, looking at using uh, dynamic security on uh, the Mosquito Broker uh, or is actually using dynamic security on the Mosquito Broker. Now a little while ago, it's probably over a year ago now, I actually did a couple of articles on um, dynamic security and while I was doing it I developed a couple of node red flows um, one for actually automating it so as you can actually uh, if I just pull the flow up here so instead of actually using the command line t tool from as a command line tool you can use it through a, a browser and you could configure your dynamic security using the, this interface now I never released this flow and um, or whether I will I don't know uh, because it's a bit of a dangerous thing to do because you can you're actually affecting the security on the broker now at the same time I actually developed another flow and this one uh, is actually quite safe to release and what what it does is uh, it actually passes the uh, dynamic security file which is a JSON file so if you look at the dynamic security file when you actually configure dynamic security and you actually use the command line to configure it on your broker it basically uh, creates and updates a JSON file and this is what the JSON file looks like now this is obviously a, a test file it's not actually a, a production file now the problem with this is that it's not so easy to read so if you actually come to a broker and you want and it's using dynamic security and all you've got to to work on is the actual JSON file it's not particularly good so I developed or I started developing a flow to actually um, pass this and decode it and actually uh, present it in a more readable format now I never continued with it because at the time I, I had a poll running on the site and not many people were actually interested in dynamic security so before I actually shelved this completely then I thought I'd uh, do this video and see if the, there is actually interest in this and developing it further it's not obviously it's not complete at the moment so basically all it does is go through this file and produces a more readable um, or human readable output and the best way is to show it you and let's just bring it up so all we do is we pass I mean I'm, I'm not selecting the file I mean it's a quite easy thing to actually add that ability there so it's going to pass that JSON file I just actually uh, showed you on the screen so I just click on the pass button and it produces a tabular format and it tells you the users and it tells you the rules and it tells you the ACL type now as I say this is not complete um, I'd be grateful for feedback on this especially for someone who's actually got a um, a particularly large um, dynamic security file and, and if they were willing to share it that would be great um, but really I'd, I'd like some feedback on what you'd actually like to see here and would you actually like to see it de develop further um, and do you have a use for it so obviously no point in me continuing developing this if no one wants to use it so that's it just a, a quick video on passing the dynamic security file the flow will be available as usual and you're free to develop it further if you if you want to but I would appreciate some feedback on on the flow or on the on the idea itself if you've got time until the next time uh, goodbye